Blaster. Nine millimeter plasma blaster. Replenish health. Okay, so I wanted to make an Apex-ish syringe gun for like a year. I also had an idea for a Bioshock-esque syringe gun. I had a pretty good idea of how to do one using a blaster core, but for some reason or another, other projects just kept overruling it. Then Heather, aka Twitch Queen Heather Ruse, announced her Apex cosplay, so I offered to make her a syringe. The construction is really similar to the Hyper Blaster. I started with 5mm Sintra core and stacked on 10mm EVA and 2mm Sintra. The battery is permanently embedded in the grip, so once I sealed it, I kind of had to work around the wires. The rest was 6mm and 2mm Sintra and 1-inch PVC pipe cut laterally. No plan of action, just whatever looked appropriately cool. The half trigger guard, however, was planned beforehand. I wanted something there to tell your hand where to go, but I thought the whole trigger guard would look a little too gun-like, if that makes sense. I had to have some removable panels to access the guts, so I just made a big long one down the side. Originally, the magazine tube was removable, and that was going to be the primary reload method. It was thick wall polycarbonate with some hardware bits for a catch and a DIN plug for the scrolling LEDs. And it worked, but once I got everything painted and mounted, there were fitment issues, and then the magazine tube cracked. It didn't break, but by then it was too late to save the removable functionality, so I just screwed it down. I wanted the color scheme to reflect the Apex syringe, but not entirely. The red was red-orange, the white is actually a light gray, the gunmetal was gunmetal. 
I also had some leftover stickers from my Proton Pack builds, and they fit pretty well. The in-game Apex syringe has a QR code on it, and I thought it would be fun to add one that linked to my YouTube channel. So if she ever brought it to a con and someone asked where she got it, she could just have them scan it and say, This dude. I had intended the weathering to be light, so it would kind of disappear in bright lighting situations, but I realized I didn't like that, so I just kept going until I did like it. Also, the front sight of the barrel extension, while logical considering the shape, also looked kind of dumb, so I cut it off. So it was around this time that Heather and Tamara were on stream, and Tamara started talking me up. It's gonna I be so good. not tell you, Heather. What a joyful experience it is receiving a package from Easter 57. It is unreal, unmatched, so joyful. I'm so excited for you. I cannot wait. It is truly just chef's kiss the best. Oh. And I'm all, well, that's a lot of pressure. Now I have to deliver. <laughs> I found a pretty good case on Amazon. It had the right foam. It was the perfect size. I tried to make it look like a med kit, I painted it white, put a big red cross on the top and the bottom, and then the can of paint exploded, and it looked like murder. Still though, with the weathering of the mossy bits, it really sells the left out in nature for an unreasonable amount of time look. I debated whether or not to make the insides of the case look old and gross too. Uh, is that appropriate? Wouldn't the insides be clean if the case was closed? And I eventually opted for weathered, just to keep with the overall theme. Maybe the case was left open or something, or there was a leak. The charger was dirty, so it makes sense. By the way, the charger was pretty easy to paint since the box unscrews and I could just paint it separately. The nozzle attachments were planned from the beginning to help change the look. The big needle is obviously a nod to the Bioshock syringe. It's acrylic rod with a green core and the green reacts to the blue light and it looks wicked cool. The barrel extension is so that it can look more like a blaster when it's in blaster mode. And the little pin looking insert is for close up shots since it looks like a little syringe injection tip. The injection sound was a combination of silenced pistol, aerosol spray can, and person blowing bubbles in milk. The rest was a sine wave chirp, and I think it's just a window sound. The last bits of world building were the inspection tag and the instructions. I decided this was a government issue device, and just about everything the government issues that has an expiration date has an inspection tag. This particular model was made by subcontractor Eastern HBY and is good for 57 years past date of manufacture. The instructions were cheekily written out in a quasi-post-apocalyptic channel awesome video game universe and printed on antique pattern paper, also something that I just discovered existed but perfect for this part. The envelope was a back pocket to an old pair of pants. So ideally, the experience should unfold as such. Open shipping box. See pants pocket on top of nature. Read letter. Get into character. See old ass box. Open old ass box. See cool syringe gun surrounded by more nature. Rejoice. I have no idea if that's what will actually happen, but that's what I hope. Anyway, that's the syringe gun. Hope you liked it, and thanks for watching.